Mysterio vs. Syndrome, which could be said to be more evil? Now in the previous video I matched up Syndrome with the Screenslaver given that they are both from the Incredibles franchise. But perhaps a better match for Syndrome would be the Master of Special Effects Mysterio, given their commonalities. They bear quite a few similar traits, with Mysterio perhaps being somewhat of a live-action version of Syndrome. Both were frauds who aspired to be the greatest hero of their time, using a fake crisis of their own making to stage themselves up for public adoration. Both of them have somewhat of an animosity towards superheroes. This is obvious with Syndrome, but also present with Mysterio to a smaller degree, when he gripes that no one will listen to you if you're not flying around in a cape. And interestingly, both of them have a distorted or selective memory of their grievances. For Syndrome, this is evident in his flashback to the night of Mr. Incredible's rejection, when he only recalls being told off, but forgets his part in causing the damage to the train track. For Mysterio, there is the imagined bout of laughter from the audience that wasn't actually there, which gives hint as to his fragile ego. As for their worst deeds, for Syndromes, I've already covered this in the previous video, but it's quite similar in its crescendo to that of Mysterio's, creating an Avengers-level threat with the goal of maximum casualties so as to garner widespread media coverage. And of course, along the way, there could have been some collateral damage here and there in his staged battle with the previous three elementals, as is consistent with his notion of earning the media's attention. Which brings us to Mysterio's endgame in comparison to that of Syndrome's. Given his self-declared goal of becoming the next Iron Man, we can assume that he would eventually reach the ranks of the Avengers. A most illogical plan to say the least, given that sooner rather than later he'll still be exposed by the Avengers as a fraud anyway. Therefore, it's rather fair to conclude that Syndrome has a more sensible endgame than that of Mysterio's. But while it's a more logical plan, it's certainly a more nefarious one. Mysterio appears to be able to coexist with other superheroes, but Syndrome is so narcissistic that he cannot bear the thought of anyone stealing his spotlight, which might have been a motivator in his choice to terminate them one by one. Thus it would seem that Syndrome is the more prideful and destructive of the two, one who cannot live with any peers around. Regarding their evil decisions on a more micro level, for Syndrome we have his willingness to target Violet and Dash on the plane, the equivalent of which for Mysterio would be his choice to target Peter's classmates at the end. Neither can be said to be more or less despicable than the other. Next we can look at their treatment towards their associates, both of them display some level of callousness with their allies. With Syndrome this is seen when he dares Mr. Incredible to make good on his threat with Mirage. With Mysterio we see this when he aims the drones at his team in a fit of rage. Of course, the situation in both cases are vividly different. More than likely, Syndrome was confident that Mr. Incredible wouldn't have harmed his romantic interest, hence his willingness to taunt him into the act. But given that Mr. Incredible believed he had just lost his family, there was still a real possible risk. For Mysterio, this act of threatening his team was perhaps just an overdramatic gesture to shock them into pulling up their socks, and he probably never really intended to do them any harm. So it's a bit undecided here as to which character displays a greater level of cold-bloodedness. The thing that slightly separates the two of them, however, would be the notion of guilt. Someone like Syndrome would be a prime candidate for having the label of narcissistic personality disorder, and amongst other traits, this is supported by his state of being devoid of any guilt for his actions. Mysterio, on the other hand, at least demonstrates a hint of reluctance and a regret over having Peter's blood on his hands, a condemnation which he tries to pin on William instead. Of course his guilt proves to be short-lived, and Mysterio later targets Peter's classmates at the end. But at the least it's marginally better than Syndrome who showed zero trace of guilt at all throughout. So in light of his greater narcissism, an absence of guilt and more abhorrent callousness, I'd say that Syndrome wins again, in terms of being more evil than Mysterio. But just ever so slightly. In terms of a physical matchup, perhaps Mysterio has the advantage here, as Syndrome would likely fall for the illusions given his lack of a spider sense. Once Mysterio traps him in an illusion, it's game over, unless somehow Syndrome manages to trap him first in his zero-point energy.